Uh, can I just please have you introduce yourself and tell us your role in the band? Hi, I'm Mike from Frothos Sleeping, and I'm the front man, screamer, singer, whatever the fuck you want to call it. <laughs> all right, so where does the name Frothos Sleeping come from? Oh, when we were starting the band, we all sat in the fucking basement and came up with like 150 different band names on like a notebook. And then I was talking to them and asked them if they had any other names, and they like, like Jared, Ethan, and David are from like, we all did different local bands when yeah. we were growing up, so they had this gay name for all those sleeping that they came up when they were in a political punk band yeah you know just making fun of like emo hardcore music or whatever screamo so we were like well that's pretty good i think we'll go with that so you guys just picked that yeah no uh, meaning at all <laughs> all right <laughs> so right now you guys are basically headlining the not your american idols tour with capture the crown yeah. how's the tour going so far that's i mean it's only day two man but i mean both shows have been fucking great so far it's been awesome yeah, yeah, we've been having a good time. You guys released "Incomplete Me" uh, earlier this year. Um, tell us about the album. <sighs> in terms of what? Uh, well, you what know, you what what could have uh, inspired you in the process of writing? You know, the lyrics. Um, you know, what what it's what it's about. You know, what what you guys um, want to. What message are you guys trying to get out with this album? You know, like I heard you talk about, like you know, the whole idols thing. Right, right. Uh, generally, this the cry or. Uh, Outspoken and uh, Incomplete Me are basically about how fucking fed up we, we are with like the whole idea of fame and egos and all these people doing uh, just walking around like this shit doesn't stink. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you can't fucking talk to anybody normally anymore because they're so secluded in their own head, you know? Like they just like their fucking massive crowds or their CD sales get in the way of normal fucking living. Yeah. yeah. So. That's basically what we wrote this last album for ourselves. Basically, no message to anybody but ourselves because we wrote music that we wanted and trying to. Yeah, perfect. Uh, so, what does the future hold for for all the sleeping now? I have no idea. No, <laughs> no idea, man. All right. That's We're gonna cool. keep trucking on, and doing what we do. Yeah. That's all I have to say. All right. Uh, what's the most memorable for all the sleeping moment? You know, show wise, tour wise, anything. Like, you know, like not even. Uh, in a fan maybe you know just one thing that you guys will just always always remember i think like collectively the shows and the kids are what we'll remember it's not like a general memory like we all have our different experiences with fans coming out yeah you know like people in wheelchairs or like people that have gotten shot like we've we've seen fucking everything yeah. and to have people of all varieties all you know races everything just come up to us and tell us that our music means a lot or has helped them through you know suicidal thoughts or depression like we're certainly nobody to fucking help with that but if yeah. our music can get through a, a hard fucking time i've been through that you know with my favorite bands when i was a fucking kid so that's to me that's the greatest fucking memory i'll have right. every kid Perfect. So what would your ultimate goal be with this band if it hasn't been achieved? And if it uh, has been achieved, what was it? Uh, it was Warp Tour for us. Yeah? Yeah. We had never... In 2007, we played like a low... Like the our... Yeah, our Minnesota, date. Yeah, our home yeah. date of uh, Warp Tour. But we finally got to play the whole tour this last summer. And it was just yeah. a fucking dream come in true. The, in Toronto. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. All right. So uh, what makes For All Those Sleeping different? And why should people check you guys out? You know... I'm not gonna say that we're fucking different in any way, shape, or form from a different band. I think what sets us out, besides our music, is the fact that we're approachable. Like, we're not gonna sit there and judge if you're fucking overweight, you've cuts in your arms. Like, we're not the type of guys to fucking refuse anybody of anything. Like, if you want to talk, we're fucking here for you. And that's one of our that's one of our goals, I guess. All right. Oh, sorry. That's all good. So, is there anything specific you'd like to talk about that I might have, like, asked, or, uh, anything you'd like to tell people who are watching the interview? Nah, man, I just, I just hope that everyone that fucking sees this comes out to the shows on this tour and fucking has the balls to come up to us, because we'd love to meet you. Alright, well, you heard it from the man, this is for all those sleeping, thank you for watching. I've never rated anyone without the money, so you